In the tapestry of biblical lore, certain narratives stand out as cautionary tales, offering profound insights into the nature of divine providence and human folly. Among these, the story of Samyaza and his rebellion against the heavens occupies a place of prominence, serving as a timeless reminder of the perils of pride and the consequences of defiance. Let us embark on a journey through scripture, tracing the rise and fall of Samyaza and his followers, and uncovering the lessons that lie therein. To understand the rise of Samyaza, we must delve deeper into the biblical and apocryphal texts that shed light on his origins and motivations. Although the canonical Bible offers limited direct references to Samyaza, apocryphal writings like the Book of Enoch provide a detailed account of his role and the circumstances that led to his downfall. In Genesis 6 1-4, we find an enigmatic passage that sets the stage for Samyaza's story. When human beings began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with humans forever, for they are mortal, their days will be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. This passage introduces the sons of God, who are often interpreted as fallen angels, among whom Samyaza is believed to be a leader. These beings, captivated by the beauty of human women, decided to forsake their heavenly abode and descend to earth, thus beginning their rise and subsequent fall. The Book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish text, provides a more comprehensive account of these events. In Enoch 6 1-3, we read, And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men and beget us children. Samyaza, described as their leader, addresses the group in Enoch 6 to 3 to 4. And Samyaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan but to do this thing. In these verses, we see Samyaza's influential role among the fallen angels. Despite his initial hesitation, he becomes the driving force behind their collective decision to abandon their celestial duties. This act of defiance marks the beginning of Samyaza's rise to prominence among the fallen. The Book of Enoch continues to describe how Samyaza and his followers descended upon Mount Hermon, binding themselves by an oath to fulfill their rebellious intentions. And they taught them charms and enchantments, and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. Through these actions, Samyaza and his cohort imparted forbidden knowledge to humanity, teaching them arts and sciences that were beyond mortal comprehension. This dissemination of esoteric knowledge further solidified Samyaza's status as a key figure in the rebellion against the divine order. In Enoch 8-1-2, the text details some of the specific teachings. And Azazel taught men to make swords, and knives, and shields, and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them, and bracelets, and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of costly stones, and all coloring tinctures. And there arose much godlessness, and they committed fornication, and they were led astray and became corrupt in all their ways. While Azazel is often highlighted for his role, it is Samyaza's leadership that facilitated this widespread corruption. By endorsing and leading this rebellion, Samyaza directly influenced the downfall of both angels and humanity. Through these biblical and apocryphal texts, we see the rise of Samyaza as a tale of ambition, defiance, and the dissemination of forbidden knowledge. His story underscores the themes of temptation and the far-reaching consequences of rebelling against divine authority, setting the stage for the eventual judgment and downfall that would follow. The rebellion of Samyaza and his fellow angels is one of the most compelling narratives found within the apocryphal Book of Enoch. Painting a vivid picture of celestial beings who defied divine authority and altered the course of human history. This rebellion is characterized by a deliberate and collective act of defiance against the natural order established by God. Samyaza, the leader of the fallen angels, spearheaded this insurrection. His initial apprehension about the rebellion is documented in Enoch 6-3-4, where he expressed concern about the consequences of their actions. However, driven by their shared desires, Samyaza and his followers bound themselves by an oath on Mount Hermon, committing themselves to their plan. Enoch 6-6 states, Then they all swore together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. This oath was a pivotal moment, symbolizing their unified intent to defy God's commands. With their decision made, the 200 angels descended to earth, 
abandoning their heavenly posts. Once on earth, Samyaza and his followers began to fulfill their desires, taking human women as their wives and fathering a race of giants known as the Nephilim. Enoch 7-1-2 details this transgression. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one, and they began to go in unto them and to defile themselves with them. The Nephilim, born of these unions, were described as mighty and violent, further contributing to the chaos unleashed by the fallen angels. Their presence led to widespread corruption and immorality among humans. In addition to their illicit relationships, the fallen angels introduced forbidden knowledge and practices to humanity. Samyaza and his cohort taught various secrets of the heavens that were meant to remain hidden. Enoch 8-1-3 elaborates on these teachings. And Azazel taught men to make swords, and knives, and shields, and breastplates, and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them. And Samyaza taught enchantments, and root cuttings, Armoros the resolving of enchantments, Barakijal astrology, Kokabel the constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds, Arachiel the signs of the earth, Shamsiel the signs of the sun, and Sariel the course of the moon. Through these actions, the fallen angels significantly altered human society, leading people away from the path of righteousness and into sin. The dissemination of such knowledge resulted in widespread violence, idolatry, and immorality, further deepening the divide between humanity and the divine. The rebellion of Samyaza and his followers did not go unnoticed by God. The escalating wickedness and corruption prompted divine intervention. In Enoch 9-1-3, the archangels Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel observed the devastation wrought by the fallen angels and brought their concerns before the Lord. And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said to one another, the earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. In response to this plea, God decided to take decisive action against the rebels. The fallen angels, including Samyaza, were ultimately bound and cast into the abyss, awaiting the final judgment. And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, bind them fast for seventy generations in the valleys of the earth, till the day of their judgment and of their consummation, till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. The rebellion of Samyaza is thus a tale of hubris, forbidden knowledge, and divine retribution. It serves as a powerful narrative on the consequences of defying the divine order and the far-reaching impact of celestial beings interfering with the mortal realm. Through this story, we are reminded of the delicate balance between the heavens and the earth, and the enduring consequences when that balance is disrupted. The tale of Samyaza is one of profound significance, steeped in themes of defiance, forbidden knowledge, and divine retribution. It serves as a powerful narrative on the consequences of rebellion against the divine order and the impact of celestial beings on the mortal realm. The story unfolds primarily in the apocryphal Book of Enoch, a text that provides an in-depth account of the events leading to the fall of these once exalted angels. Samyaza's story begins in the heavens, where he and his cohort of angels served God. However, the allure of earthly pleasures and the beauty of human women led to a growing discontent among them. Genesis 6 1-2 briefly touches upon this. When human beings began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. This passage hints at the initial temptation that Samyaza and his followers faced. Driven by desire, Samyaza proposed their descent to earth to take human wives, but he feared the repercussions. In Enoch 6-3-4, Samyaza voices his concerns. And Samyaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to do this deed and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan but to do this thing. This oath on Mount Hermon marked the collective decision of the fallen angels to abandon their heavenly duties and descend to earth, sealing their fate. Corruption and Chaos Upon their descent, Samyaza and his followers took human wives and fathered the Nephilim, a race of giants who wrought havoc upon the earth. Moreover, the fallen angels imparted forbidden knowledge to humans, teaching them arts and sciences meant to remain hidden. And Samyaza taught enchantments, and root cuttings, Armoros the resolving of enchantments, Barakijal astrology, Kokabel the constellations, Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds, Arachiel the signs of the earth, Shamsiel the signs of the sun, and Sariel the course of the moon. These teachings led to an increase in violence, idolatry, and immorality, further deepening the divide between humanity and the divine. 
the corruption became so great that it reached the heavens, prompting the archangels to intervene. Enoch 9-1-3 describes their plea to God. And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed upon the earth, and all lawlessness being wrought upon the earth. And they said to one another, The earth made without inhabitant cries the voice of their crying up to the gates of heaven. God's response to this plea was swift and decisive. The story of Samyaza and his rebellion serves as a powerful cautionary tale about the dangers of pride, disobedience, and the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. As we reflect on this narrative, let it remind us of the importance of humility and obedience to divine will. Let us strive to live righteous lives, seeking wisdom and understanding while remaining true to our moral and spiritual principles. Engage with these ancient texts, ponder their meanings, and let their lessons guide you in navigating the complexities of life. Share this story and its insights with others, fostering a deeper understanding of the eternal struggle between good and evil. In doing so, we honor the timeless truths embedded in these ancient narratives and apply their wisdom to our modern lives.